Hello everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time, our hero Mario was almost defeated and pulverized by Bowser's elite guard. And he nearly... Um, geez, I'm terrible at describing things. Anyways, hey everybody, welcome back to more Paper Mario with your host Koopa. In the last episode, we uh, almost nearly died because I suck at this game. And in this episode, we're gonna just um, rest here again because I'm taking a lot of damage. So I want to heal up a bit before we move on here at the beginning of the episode. Just sleep while I'll take care of to go. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay, we don't want to go up here, and then hopefully we can move on from this corridor, because I don't want to have to keep returning there over and over and over again just to heal. <gasps> oh my gosh, I had the chance to first strike and I hesitated. Dang it, dude. Okay, it looks like this is a bunch of magic Koopas everywhere. Now, this kind of sucks because they do a lot of damage, especially because I have the, uh, the D down, P up badge equipped. So I'm just going to Mega Shock them and uh, make it so that they can't hurt me for a couple turns just because I can one-shot some of them, so. That's good. It's good to have just one uh, alive in the battle <laughs> as opposed to three of them, so. I was kind of thinking I was going to mistime that just because it was such an awkward angle. And he just runs away because he's a coward. Nice. Alright. Okay, now here is where this gets interesting. Now you see that tall freaking door right there. And we see that locked door right there, but obviously we don't have a key, so we're gonna, our goal is to find one. We have these chains here. And hooray, water puzzles, yeah. Now, I believe we don't actually need to ride sushi. We can use Lapras or anything? Or do we need sushi? No, we do need sushi. Okay, no. If we do use Lackluster, though, there is kind of like a glitch you can do in this area, which makes you basically act like you can walk under the water as if it was normal terrain. And you can get out of bounds with that and all kinds of cool stuff. But obviously, I'm not skilled enough to do that because... It's a lot of frame perfect things that you have to execute, and not only am I not good at frame perfect stuff, but I'm also playing on the Wii U gamepad, which makes it like 10 times harder to do any inputs. So, yeah, no. And if you're wondering why I'm playing this on the Wii U and not my N64, is because my first Paper Mario cartridge kind of crapped out on me, and uh, I basically lost all my progress so in the middle of the series I had to play it through on the Wii U and get through the same point where I was and I got a new Paper Mario cartridge that I can use on the N64 no problem but I didn't really feel like playing the game three times through so I decided to just finish the LP on the Wii U Yeah, what am I thinking? I was like, wait, why did I choose sushi? But like, it's obvious why I chose sushi, geez. And now we have to tediously make the water level go back down. So I'm going to cut ahead because probably you guys probably don't want to just see me um, go pull some chains again. And now that we've flushed Bowser's giant toilet, I don't know why I'm uh, suddenly sounding like Nintendo Capri Sun, we can unlock this door and, and proceed forward. And ooh, yep. 
Here we go, on corridors of nothing and bullet bills coming up. Wow. Great, I am fantastic at this game. So basically these are just like the bullet bills in Koopa Bros Fortress except they're stronger. Who could have figured? And these are exactly like the cannons in uh, Koopa Bros Fortress except they're stronger. Who could have figured that? Um, I wish I had Goombario out so I didn't have to waste a turn just tattling on them, but it's whatever. Let's just go ahead and tattle on them with this boy. This is Bebo Blaster. Max HP is 10, defense power 4. Um, good idea to have Watt here because, like I said, he pierces any type of defense. Now, these bullet bills have 4 HP, as we saw earlier. I guess I'll go ahead and tattle them. Bomb bombshell bills, okay. And let's go ahead and switch to Watt so we have a feasible way of taking these guys out. Oh, they have 3 HP. Okay. Uh. Why not? PK! Star Star! And yes, this also pierces defense. And we're actually getting pretty close to a level up, so I should I should really not be afraid of expending my stuff. Uh, my stuff. Yeah, because we're pretty much a battle away from from getting a level up, and I think we're gonna fight two more. Yeah, right over here. Want to be careful. That's probably gonna do no damage. Oh, she did four. Never mind. That's just how strong I am! Okay, whatever. And we can go ahead and take one of these out already. Wow. And we've already gotten a level up. Sorry if you can hear my gamepad just vibrating in the background. This thing is wild. This is actually my first time using my Wii U in ages. I feel like I never used this thing. I mean, the only game, like, pretty much the only games that made the Wii U worth, like, of any note is playable on Nintendo Switch. So obviously, everyone just goes on Nintendo Switch. I do, I do, I did really like the uh, how they handle Virtual Console a lot better on Switch on uh, Wii U than on Switch, though. I don't like the fact that everything's locked behind a purchase wall, but I mean, it makes sense because it's, you know, how just modern things work, I guess. Honestly, it's called Nintendo Switch Online, but like, I never buy it for the- oh Jesus, there's a freaking guy right there. Yeah, I never buy the Switch Online service for the... For the actually play... Did I miss, really? Or are those just not allowed to do that? Okay, whatever. Um, you know what? Let's do it again. PK Starstorm. Let's go. Yeah, what I was saying is, though, that I, ne like, if I buy the Switch Online, it's for the vi it's for the games, right? It's for the NES, N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, Super Nintendo games. It's not for the freaking online service, because, I mean, yeah, a lot of people say it's garbage, and it kind of is. But, I mean, even if it was, like, really good, I don't really like playing games online. I don't know why, it's just not my style. Like, one of the main... Jesus Christ, man. One of the main draws for me for, like, games that you can play multiplayer... God damn it! Yes, it's god damn it. No. Is, uh... You know, sitting in the same room as the other person and just, like... Having fun playing stupid freaking video game. 
Yeah, I, I don't really have the same amount of fun just playing online. Like, yeah, it's more convenient nowadays than, like, um, you know, actually having to wait until your friend can go to your house or whatever and play a game. But, I don't know, I just, I just find games more fun when you're with the other person rather than just, like, online with a bunch of random people. I don't know. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take one of these bullet bills because I can't make any progress if I just keep attacking them, so I'm going to have to attack you. And then... God, man, I am so bad. Actually, I don't know what my badge loadout is looking like right now. I don't even know if I have, like, extra badge points that I could be using. Which I should probably check, considering how much I've been sucking lately, so... Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I have deep focus, damage dodge, all or nothing, last stand, power rush, close call. Eh, I kind of like my loadout, so I'll keep it the same. It just kind of sucks that I take so much damage if I untime an attack. Uh, case of point, case of point. Okay, um, let's uh, get Goombari out first and foremost because that's what I need right now. There we go! And <laughs> that's a pretty funny animation, honestly. Okay, <laughs> that's what he looks like. Okay, Dry Bones, obviously. This is a Dry Bones. Dry Bones are skeletal remains from Koopa Trooper. Well, didn't mean to touch my gamepad screen. Max HP is 8, attack power 4, defense power 0. Just when you think they're beat, these guys rise up and attack again. Sorry, there's a spider on my bed. <laughs> Got distracted because it was a spider. Yeah, if you don't kill their partners in time, then uh, partners in time, Mario and Luigi RPG. Yes. Yeah, but if you don't kill everyone on the field in time, um, they actually won't go down completely. But it kind of sucks because they don't give any experience points, which is really dumb i mean come on there's still an enemy i'm glad they fixed that in thousand year door because in thousand year door even though it's the same mechanic they do they do still give you experience points no crap i'm so dead aren't i Yep, that's when I get the hell out of here. Oh, thank God. Yep. Oh, of course it didn't work on the freaking dragons over there. Unfortunately, I'm still going to have to take his attack. No, he's calling for another. <sighs> Screw this. <laughs> this is an emergency. There we go. Not on the dry bones. Why can you still target the dry bones? It's all we did. Are you kidding me? Oh great, I can't target it with the- Oh my god, this is so annoying. Okay. At least we're on a good subset of health now. 
Okay, good. And unfortunately, you still did that, okay. And let's just focus. Focus, focus. Luckily, I have deep focus equipped, so that'll do. I swear to God, I hate that you can still freaking target the tri bones. Why? If he calls for help. Okay. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing this intentional Yuji. I'm just. Okay. There we freaking go. It's so dumb. Okay, and then we get our super shroom. Hooray! Great. Fantastic. Okay, let's just eat the super shroom. Get 35 HP. I don't know which of these is the correct one to go through. I think it, I want to say it's that one because it's the only one that opened, and I want to say that the wrong ones don't actually open. Yes! Decided to cut that battle out, but it was just, you know, traditional enemies just doing traditional things. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna save here and then just end this episode off here because, god damn it, dude, I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time.